Mount the arm to the table by sliding the base in between the table and the clamp. Tighten the clamp to secure the arm base to the table. Place the microscope head into the ring on top of the arm. Tighten the thumb screw on the front to secure the microscope to the arm. Connect one end of the RJ45 or Ethernet cable into the shutter port on the back of the welder. Remove the bottom of the arm and run the RJ45 cable through the bottom portion of the arm to keep the wires out of your way during welding. Next. Remove the upper bottom half and run the rest of the cable through the arm. Finally, insert the cable into the back of the microscope on the end of the arm. Connect the foot pedal into the port marked foot pedal on the back of the welder. Tighten to secure in place. Connect the gas tubing into the port marked shield gas on the back of the welder. Push the tube in and tug to make sure it is secure. Place the eye covers over the eyepieces of the microscope and focus the microscope to your desired settings. This will be easiest once the stylus is set in place and will give you something to focus on. Plug the stylus into the port marked Weld Stylus on the back of the welder. Line up the white markings on the port and the connector. Mount the stylus to the arm by inserting the stylus into the mount and tightening the screw below the mount to secure the stylus into place. Ensure the end of the electrode is centered in the view of the scope. Plug the AC power cable into the back of the welder and then plug the other end into any standard 110 to 220 VAC outlet. Connect the alligator clip into the port on the front of the welder on the opposite side of the power button. Push the power button on the front of the welder and the blue ring should light up indicating startup. Wait for the welder to power up and you are ready to start welding.